Okay, this video is covering the basic setup and configuration for a Dawa ASC 2204C-S access controller. This is an inside the panel look. And then on the panel door, we have our wiring diagrams for our relays, outputs, and power sources. For today's purpose, we're going to be utilizing the door lock 1 connection, the 12 volt uh, power supply for lock connection that's rated for 2 amps. That's good for a couple door strikes or a maglock. If you have more than a few maglock, more than one maglock, I would suggest using an external power supply. And then we're going to be doing the card reader one um, terminal. So for card reader one, we're going to do an RS45 connection. Uh, we will utilize four wires from the reader. So the red and black from the reader will go to the power supply uh, portion. And then the yellow and purple from the reader goes to the RS45. So here on the terminal block, we can see that the our red and black wires are for power, and our yellow and purple are for the RS45 connection. Red on the first terminal, black on the second, and then from the bottom, purple on the last, and the yellow goes to lands on the second to last. That's our card reader. On the lock side, we will utilize the 12-volt uh, uh, power supply that's on board and use this lock wiring method. So the positive side from our power supply goes, we'll jump over to the common one. Since we're using door lock one, we're gonna land the plus from the 12 volt power supply to the common one. We can see that this wire here is our jumper from our power supply positive to our common one connection on this terminal. And then for, depending on if we have a door strike or a mag lock, if we have a mag lock, um, the positive side from the mag lock will go to NC1 and then the negative side from the maglock will go to the 12 volt ground. So from, uh, this is indicating a maglock, we have the positive side going to uh, the NC1 on this first terminal here. Right, I'm sorry, right there. And then we have the uh, negative side coming down to the ground on our 12 volt power supply. If we had a door strike, that's gonna go to normally open one. That's this third terminal here. And then we will have the negative side from this strike uh, land on that 12 volt ground as well. So if we had a mag lock, we would have constant power. When a valid swipe occurs, that will drop and break power. If we had uh, our door strike, it's uh, not energized until we had a valid swipe. So that is the inside the panel look. And then we'll move to the software. Okay, now we will need to get our software that we plan on using for our uh, access controller programming. So let's go to dowelwiki.com. On the main page, you'll see an area labeled instructions. Let's go to other, access control. All of our important access control information will be on this page regarding our Gen 2 controller, uh, default IP, username, password, etc. There are some uh, line item instructions below. Um, we are going to uh, need the config tool. Config tool will allow us to modify the IP address of the device so that we can add it to our uh, Smart PSS AC software that we're using today. Um, of course, you can add it by the 192.168.1.108 if that fits your address scheme and it's not taken, but in order to change the IP, we will need the config tool. So go ahead and get those. So with config tool loaded, uh, we can uh, search for devices that are on the network. Uh, we have our access controller here, the ASC2204C-S. Um, if I wanted to modify this IP address, I can click edit. But in order to do that, I'll have to go to search setting and make sure that I have that uh, password of the device in this line here. So the password has to be the same as the device that we're modifying. Then edit, and then I can change this to anything I want. Once you make an, uh, the address change, uh, the controller will beep uh, on the hardware itself, indicating that it's accepted a, um, an IP address or network change. Okay, so once we have that changed, now we can open our Smart PSS AC software. And on here we have an access guide that takes us through a step-by-step -step process of changes that uh, uh, we need to make in order to, to be functional. So let's go to Access Guide, Device Manager. We need to add our device. We'll give it a name. 
the IP address. The default password was admin123. Click add. Device is online. We want to click this gear tool and time settings. We want to make sure that our time zone uh, is correct, the time uh, for the controller is correct, and DST is enabled. So uh, make sure you uh, make these setting changes. And if you have network access uh, for the device, you can enable the NTP server and put in the correct NTP destination uh, that you're getting your time from. Click Save. Okay, we can go up to this tab and close the config portion. And close that. And then we can go back to our guide and go to Personnel Manager. This is where we're going to add our users. Click Add. Give it a user number and then a name. The valid time is the time that this card will be active. Uh, it's 10 years by default. You can change that as needed. There's a little drop down arrow here to add more information uh, about the user uh, if needed. Certification. If you have a card reader that has a, a, a pin code access on it, it has the, uh, the numbers displayed on the, on the reader, we can add a password for the user if needed. It has to be a six digit code. Okay, if I'm gonna add a card there are uh, USB readers uh, available from us, but sometimes we are caught without those in the field. We can add the card through the reader that's connected to the controller. We have to click this little gear tool on the right and card reader. Where are we gonna read this uh, uh, credential from? Click the drop down. We're gonna either read it from the card issuer, which is the USB device, or the card issue, which is our card reader. And then click the drop down. Access controller, door one, reader one. Click OK. So now we're going to add a card and click inside the box. We want our cursor flashing in there. And then swipe your card on the reader. You'll have your card number displayed here. The uh, MyFair cards are not printed, so we do not have the uh, luxury of reading this off the card itself. We do have to read them in uh, at the reader. Okay. And if you do have a fingerprint reader, you can add that credential on this page as well. And then uh, permission configuration. Uh, if we have a door group uh, made, we can go and assign that here, but we'll do that later. Okay, so let's go back to our guide and we'll go to our time template. So we can create schedules. Uh, uh, if this is a uh, school or an office where um, you know you want the front door uh, a vestibule door to open at a certain time um, you can create that schedule here and then under advanced config uh, first card unlock multi-card unlock so we have these options as well and then uh, under access config we can go in per door uh, rename the door uh, if we want a keep open time zone Let's say uh, we did create that time template that we want a, uh, a door to open between, let's say, 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. You would create that time template and then assign that uh, here. Um, door sensor. If we had a door contact on the door uh, and we want to uh, be able to see if that door is physically held open uh, through the software here, we would enable the door sensor. And uh, unlock hold interval. So when there is a swipe, how long do we want that door to stay open uh, or release? It is three seconds by default. Uh, you can raise that uh, here if you need. And then the unlock modes that are uh, available for the readers, you can get uh, a, a per door selection here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and hit save. Actually, there's that. And then history, we can go in here and pull a history log if we wanted to. Back to the log, we'll go to permission group. So we'll want to create a door group. I'm going to delete this one real quick. Okay, create a door group. Uh, we'll name this anything we, anything we want. Door group. 
one. We choose the doors we want in this group. Let's say we want doors one and two in this group. Click OK. Now, if we go back up to this uh, door and select it, we could see that these two doors are in this group. Now we want to add uh, a user. Click the user. Now we can see back up here, click on there, that this user was added. Okay. And then under this uh, progress, it tells us, you know, uh, were the, did the changes succeed? Yes. Go back to our guide. Access Manager, this is our uh, page where we can see what's happening with the doors. So this is our live panel. We can manually open a door. If I was to read, uh, swipe my card, I can see that Chris Robertson swiped his card and unlocked it. Uh, if we go back up to the Personnel Manager under the User portion, um, if we had our door group created, and we added another user. Let's call this user two. Uh, certification. And we want to add a card. Card added. Then we can go to the permission group here. If we have the door group already created, we can go and select that here and then finish. So if we went down to the permission side, we would see that under this door group one, since we already selected that Chris Robertson and this user two are in this door group. So two ways to add the user to the group. Back to our home, we can close our guide, we can close all of our tabs. This is our main dashboard here. Um, Access Manager shows us our doors. So we have our user to unlock. And that is your basic setup with Smart PSS AC, uh, the Gen 2 controller, and Config Tool. Thanks. Okay, that is just about it for our basic config and setup here. Uh, we use config tool from dowelwiki.com to set the IP address of our controller. We use Smart PSS AC to uh, add the device, uh, do the configuration, set the time, add our users, our schedules. Uh, we added our uh, credentials, our, our cards, and our PIN codes. So the LED that's illuminated represents a mag lock that has constant power. It will drop power when a valid swipe or code is entered. And this LED that is not illuminated represents a door strike. So if I swipe my, my card, we will see uh, the LED uh, turn off and this LED illuminate, uh, representing the door strike that is energized. Okay. And then for the um, uh, card readers that have the the code um, option, um, it is the user number, so user one, pound, and then the code, pound. And that is it for the basic uh, setup and configuration. For more in-depth uh, details, uh, always refer to the dawawiki.com uh, website. There's a lot of useful information on there, a lot of hard work goes into it. And, uh, of course, the phone number for our tech support is listed in the contact section. Thanks.